Howdy guys, I'm Auto Edge Jason, and in this video, I got a really topical subject for you guys. Fuel prices are pretty high right now, and over the last six months, I've been actually testing this additive in both of my vehicles, and I'm gonna share with you, we're gonna do some math, and I'm gonna share with you how much money I save using this product. So let me start off by explaining how I even decided to try this stuff. I'm sure a lot of you guys like me go to the auto parts store regularly for stuff and every once in a while you'll see something out on the counter and they'll go, hey, do you want to add one of these? It's on sale for $4.50. And that's what got me. Now I'm, I'm, I like the Lucas brand. I got introduced to them, um, their, some of their products from my buddy Chris Miller from Trail to SEMA, the Power Stop Trail to SEMA years ago, 2018 or 19. And soon as I kind of liked the brand and kind of what their ethos is behind most of their products that I've used, uh, you've seen it for the last five years on the channel, six years on the channel, the stuff, the, this, this stuff is good. Uh, so I like it. So it was an easier sell to me on that thing, but I am always, always suspect to anything that says tune up in a bottle. So like you, I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. But if it helps clean the fuel system, if it does anything good, let's try it. So it was a semi low investment splurge to try. So that's what started it. Six months later, I have some solid data and I'm gonna run through you each vehicle and what I've experienced in both from the Tahoe to the Jeep. Let's start on the Tahoe since that one has some unique features to it. Whoopsie. <laughs> so on the Tahoe, I used this every fuel tank for six months and I poured one of these half in the engine oil and half in the tank for one of the tanks of fuel, and this is a complete engine treatment. And it was funny, I actually thought, oh my gosh, this stuff totally worked because it stopped, it took about a quart of oil, almost every tank of gas in this thing for the first several months I owned it. And then I realized, oh, it's because I fixed all of the oil cooler leaks and lines and stuff. And so that probably had something to do with it, but <laughs> it was that peace of mind. And I definitely feel I don't hear lifters. I, it actually helped smooth that out. Now the Jeep, I didn't feel like I needed this and I'll, I'll cover that in more detail in a minute, but this stuff I actually do like. And with the injector cleaner, I did notice something subtle at first, but dramatic when you look back at the older videos to the videos now. Um, this vehicle, if you don't know, has 200 and I don't know, something thousand miles on it. Bought it for 800 bucks when I went up to Northern California, drove it home, and then have done some tinkering type upgrades to it because it runs so good. You know, I did do the fuel filter, I did a transmission, fluid change and filter change. I did an oil change, things like that, but I didn't do EGR. I didn't do any of the uh, running components and electronics on this thing. I didn't do fuel injectors. I'm gonna pull the air cleaner off and we're gonna look down inside the throttle body on this thing and see what the difference is. Because the thing that I did notice on this thing that was dramatic is that the idle went up and got much smoother over the course of a few months of using this stuff. You see that? That looks amazing in there. So everything down past the injectors is spotless. And this thing, you guys have seen the videos on the channel. I've driven the crud out of it. It looks amazing. So now we'll put this back on and warm it up, drive it around, and then I'll give it the old idle test. All right, so check this out. The Tahoe's fully warmed up, operating temperature almost 210, and that's just a resting idle. Let me get a little rev, just so you know it settles down. Now watch this. We're at operating temperature, all right? And resting idle in park is about 800, and that's what the book calls for. But what's important is how smooth that is. But what's cool is check this out, and this is where it gets very dramatic. So in gear, holding still, the thing idles at a buttery smooth 600 to 650 RPM. Again, the noticeable thing is how smooth that is. 
when I got this thing for months, it really was choppy. Like it just struggled at about 450 to 500 RPMs. It just would kind of go, 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 go. Again, I did nothing but use the additive. I had done no other preventative maintenance. So to me, that is a testament that the additive has done some improvements to the fuel system on here, for sure. So the fascinating thing to me about this is that we have two separate vehicles with distinctively different effects of the same product. So in the Jeep, I didn't really need to have a performance gain or the idle or the injectors didn't feel like they were dirty. I was literally just going for a little bit improved uh, throttle response and just gas mileage just to see. And it just felt like it was going to be a good thing to do for the engine. If you read the bottle, it's like it lubricates, blah, 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 whatever. So here's the hard data. I just got back from a trip. So here is the right here. I, I have 707 miles and average 14.7 miles per gallon over the Death Valley trip. If you guys haven't watched that, go watch that. That just, I just got back. Jeep's still dirty from that. And that's including all of the off-roading, the trips up there, the trip back, a little bit of running around town when I got back. So that mile per gallon is at least 1.5 mile per gallon better than a normal trip equivalent to that where you factor in all of your off-roading for low time is like the worst time for your gas mileage. So that includes that. So that's 707 miles, there was no resetting of that. So that's a very dramatic improvement. And now I just carry a bottle in the center console to gas up when I'm on the road and on the go. And I'll take you down to the gas station right now. We'll gas up, I'll show you the routine, and we'll hit the reset on this. So we're down at the gas station, and these are the numbers that we're gonna use for our math. So I do regular, this is the extra and then whatever, and yes, I understand gas is expensive, oh my God, right? Like I'm oh my God too. So there are a couple of tricks here involved. Now this bottle is actually really cool and really important and you want to go ahead and just jab that sucker in there and what's cool about it is that it works for the non-cap and cap ones and so that's it but the trick here right here this tip don't throw this away you're going to use this so we'll save that for now and then we'll just go and put some gas in now i run regular this is another tip here All right, so save this thing. I'll show you why in a minute. All right. 15 gallons, it was about three, three quarters empty. Okay, so now that we're gassed up, I'm gonna hit reset on everything. Just now I can get back into my normal mode. Once we get home, we'll take those numbers from the gas pump and we'll plug them in and I'll show you the data that I've gotten over the last six months running the fuel additive, the Lucas fuel injector cleaner, and how good, how this improvement that I've seen. Now, here's the seat of the pants improvement that I've seen. The Jeep feels, now running, regular unleaded, the Jeep feels like I'm running super unleaded. So those of you who get a tuner and tune your Jeep and then you have to run super unleaded and you might feel a little bit in the day-to-day -day driving, I do notice a difference. The thing does drive noticeably more uh, powerful. It has a little bit more pep. And I'll show you this when we get home, it does get better gas mileage if I drive it the same. And that's where this gets really interesting. So not only do I get a benefit of having a bit more perfor noticeable performance boost, I do get an improvement in mileage and that ends up saving me money at the pump. Let me show you how that works. All right, quick change of plans. Right before I got into the garage to do the demo and do the math for you guys, I got a call, I got to do an audition, I'm trying to become an actor, uh, and had to run down to Glendale, and that's about 25 miles each way. And this was a really great example. We just got gas, hit the reset on the thing, and just went in, now before we get, we'll get to shooting in a second here, but I want to show you guys on the Jeep what I got on that round trip. So right here you can see, 
I got 18 miles to the gallon round trip on a 58 mile journey. And that's pretty good. I mean, that's, that's really good. Now that's combo driving here in LA. So that's not just highway driving. That's not cheating. I did not hit reset. That is legit from Santa Clarita. You could Google this yourself so you can see the terrain from Santa Clarita, California to Glendale and then back. That's what I got, 18 miles to the gallon. And that's pretty good. Um, and so ran into some traffic, had to hit the city from the freeway, from my house to the freeway and the freeway to the studio. So just gives you an idea of what to expect. Like a vehicle like this to get that kind of mileage is exceptional in my view. And that's the, the, what I've noticed since I've been adding the Lucas. So that is a very good example of that. So now let me take you over to the computer and let me show you the tip I discovered on how to actually get the product for much less than what I started getting it for over the counter at my local retail store. So. This is a hookup right here. All right, so here's our empty bottle. Remember, don't throw that away because I'm gonna show you the tip on how to get that stuff on the real cheap. So the way I discovered it, like I said earlier, was at the auto parts store. The gal said, hey, this stuff's on sale for $4.50 a bottle. And I was like, ah, why not? Let's try it. You know, it's like I say, I like the brand. Let's go for it. And it ended up being legit. So, oops, these are my notes. These are my, 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 my detailed notes here. But so, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll link these in my Amazon store. Get them from wherever you want, but this is the this is the way to get this stuff cheap. So right here in the Jeep Wrangler maintenance shopping list is where I'll put this stuff. So I recommend you still get this one of these bottles because it's just such a great way to deploy this stuff into your tank. This thing is just the exact right, I mean, it's designed by smart guys to do that. So, but here's the secret tip. I don't know if they're gonna like me to show you guys this, but, or not, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting money for this. So if you guys go, being honest, if you guys do happen to purchase this from my uh, Amazon store, it does actually help me in the channel. I mean, I get literally a fraction of a cent. It's not much, but it is something and I appreciate it. So if you do feel like getting it from here, thank you. Uh, here's the, here is the pro tip, legit. You go here and you get it by the gallon. So you get a gallon of this stuff for 33 bucks. Now it takes 25 here in my notes is where I did all this math already. So it takes 24 bottles of this to make one gallon. Now you do, do the math, five bucks times 20, for, that's a lot more money than paying 33 bucks for a gallon of it. So get this, get a funnel and a gallon of this stuff and you can just refill, throw this in your center console. That's how I do it. I just have one in both the Tahoe and the center console of the Jeep. One of these lives uh, filled up and that's how I deploy it. So that's the pro tip on how to get it for the cheap. And then, so that ends up becoming $1.23 per bottle. So this is it right here, basically. Let me run you through some of the bullet points here. I had it at the 447, which is on sale on the Amazon store per bottle. Uh, that is now 499. So that changes a little bit, but the numbers still work, even if we add 50, two cents to this thing. So the overall is what you basically get is you get a vehicle that feels like you're running super unleaded with a actual tune. So the seat of the pants perception is that the vehicle is running better. In the Jeep that manifests as something that I pull hills that I didn't pull in sixth gear. So I could just leave the Jeep in sixth, fifth or sixth gear and pull a hill into the Los Angeles that I wouldn't normally, I would have to downshift a little bit farther for. So you feel a little bit more power, feels a little more peppy. So let's break that part of it down. Just the running from regular unleaded to super unleaded. So 18 gallons at regular at 578 a gallon is $104.04, ouch, yep. And then 18 gallons at super at $6.13 a gallon is $110.34. So that difference is $6.30. So if you're going just for the performance aspect of it, you still make up a full price bottle of this stuff to get that performance. So let's take, let's separate the fuel savings and the money you save in the fuel and just the perceived performance, the, the what you feel, the sportiness of the vehicle, it already makes up that gap right there. So then we go into extra credit right here. So this is where you actually save money on this thing. 
So now when I added the Lucas, I noticed an improvement to 15.5 in that same exact driving habit. So to the store, to just lots of start and stop in and out of the vehicle, which is the worst on your gas mileage. So I noticed an increase to 15.5 by just adding the this the the Lucas upper cylinder lubricant and that equals 279 miles per 18 gallons. So that's the difference there. So here's where we get into the actual savings. So the difference is 32 miles per 18 gallons. So let's just call that a tank of gas, which equals two gallons of fuel. So that's per tank of gas. I'm getting, I'm getting 32 miles more, which means I'm saving two gallons, which right now regular unleaded is $11.56 per tank that I save. So by just adding the Lucas and subtracting the cost of the product, you are still saving net savings of $10.33 per tank of fuel. And that's substantial. And then added to that to me is a huge bonus of the actual, you feel a difference in the performance of the vehicle. You feel that slight, uh, we will just call it super unleaded tune performance. There you go. Hopefully that helps some of you guys. It's something worth trying. Give it, you know, just at least get a couple of bottles just to try. Um, right now, this seems to be a very important thing. It is to me. And, you know, I didn't get this to save gas. I got it to go on adventures. But when you can, if you can add a little bit of utility to it, why not? So hopefully this helps one of you guys. If you like this, make sure to hit the thumbs up on this thing and head on over to the Amazon store and check this out and see if this helps you guys out. Let me know in the comments if it does. Until next time, enjoy your drive now that you're going farther. <laughs> Thank you guys.